People call it a midlife crisis. Middle-aged guys are the coolest things you can imagine on a skateboard. You know that. So me and my friend went out on our own. They decided to go down a ramp. Kaboom, put my arm down. Hello, broken arm. Buzzing. Hi guys and welcome to the video, my name is Paul Greenwood. This video is a little bit different than the normal videos. I have decided to do a vlog. So welcome to vlog number one, episode one, series one. So I've been wanting to create this video for some time and it's something I've been wanting to share with people and it's something quite personal. Before all that, um, if you want to support my channel, notifications and give it a thumbs up and all that jazz. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my goals for the rest of 2020 and my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna be sharing with you also a story about how a midlife crisis has ended up with me with a pot on my arm. So stay tuned and let's get into the video. Vlog one, episode one, trendy transition. Like seriously, seriously trying to turn a variable ND filter so you can get your exposure right on a vlog while holding your notes. Vlog life, rule number one, don't break your arm before you do a vlog or your first vlog. Rule number one of vlogging, 101, vlogging tips with Paul Greenwood. That's not what we're talking about today. Before I had kids, I was a DJ and spend a lot of my time in nightclubs. I used to go out with my friends on nights out, trekking up hills and mountains, and I go traveling. It's got less and less and less as time's gone on. I don't DJ as much. I don't spend as much time on nights out with my friends anymore because they just become a lot more painful as I've got older. Limitation after limitation after limitation has been put on me as an individual. And I've been wanting to find something healthy to do with my time. So something that I have been doing, which is healthy for me, since around 2017 is that I've been running an allotment. So I've been on this waiting list for six years for an allotment and I jumped at the chance. I mean, this was well before kids came along. So fast forward a little bit to the end of 2017, I was made redundant from my job. This forced me into a position and an opportunity to do something. And with that choice, I created my business. So for those who don't know, my design business is Hive of Many. We do branding, brand development, strategy work, we do website work. We also help business owners develop IP and other sort of assets that they can use to make more money with their business. If you're a business owner, you'll probably get this one more than anyone. As your business develops and as you get busier and busier, you end up spending less time with your friends and your family, spending more time at work, putting in the hours, developing your business and doing the graft. This happens to a lot of us out there and it can take its toll. I mean, it's isolating enough. This is before COVID-19 came along. Working so hard, I thought, well, I need something that's just gonna lift my mental health. I need something that's healthy for me. So the end of 2019, I decided to become a runner. So when COVID came knocking on our door in 2020, I was in the best shape of my adult life. I could run two, three times a week and easily do like 8K. But then I realized one fundamental thing that I was missing. Everything I was doing, I was doing on my own. So when I was going to the allotment, I was going there and I was spending time on my own. When I was doing design work, my web work, I was doing that on my own as well. And when I was out running, I was running on my own. So when isolation kicked in, it really hit home of how much time I've been spending on my own. So when they eased lockdown, a friend of mine had been messaging me about going out skateboarding. Why don't I just go along and give it a go? Went out a couple of times, ended up busting up my ankle. That should have been a sign right there that this is a midlife crisis, right? Middle-aged guys are the coolest things you can imagine on a skateboard. You know that. But I ended up going out again. Me and my friend went out on our own and I decided to go down a ramp. I hit the bottom of the ramp, kaboom, put my arm down. Hello, broken arm. Buzz in. So the reason I've started to do this vlog is that I want to find something healthy to do with my time. So my mission and the goals for the rest of 2020 is to create my first 35 videos. I'm going to create them really messy. I'm just going to learn. I'm just going to bang them out. I'm just going to get on with it and give it a go because I've been putting it off and putting it off for some time and I just need to get on with it. I also want to get to my first 100 subscribers. 
So if you have watched this video and you've listened to my story, why not give us a subscribe, hit the notification and give us a thumbs up if that is your thing to do. Up to you, no pressure and all. I broke my arm, skateboarding, midlife crisis. I've started vlogging. I'll see you in the next video. See you later guys. So the reason why I have started blogging, blogging, come on, you get that right. So the reason why I've started a vlog is for blah, 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 blah. So my mission and my goals now for 20, 20, blah, 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 blah. Vlogging on a cricket pitch in the middle of August. People think I'm absolutely nuts when they look at me. Vlog life. I suppose that's what I'm going to have to get used to if I'm going to be a vlogger. When, so when COVID-19 came out. So when they released COVID-19 in 2020, doesn't make any sense, does it?